How is it going today? Well, it's Kingdom. My name is Dwayne. My name is Jasmine. And we're uh, Dwayne and Jazz. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, like we're who? I don't know if you can say a couple reacts. I think you should say Dwayne and Jazz. Dwayne and Jazz. Well, comment below, tell us if you stop Jazz. saying couple reacts or just Dwayne and Jazz. You are getting confused. I'm so used to saying couple reacts. That's what it I keeps know. Well, I, mean, I, I see it in the comments. They're like, why did it still say couple reacts? Like I, 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 so I'm like, want, yeah, maybe we should stop saying that. All right, if you want us to change <laughs> that name, I, I, whatever. I'm just going to start saying Dwayne and Jazz. Anyway, Thank 10 you. scary paranormal games you should never play. Which means we might play half of these. Yeah. So. <laughs> By Facts First, make sure you subscribe to their channel. Go check it out. Let's dive on in. Right. Facts First presents Ooh. 10 Scary Paranormal Games You Should Never Play. Hmm. Maybe you're looking for a oh, scary I can't wait to see that movie. movie. I can't wait to see that or movie. Maybe you're Did just it No, it's coming out. Some nice, Halloween. Fun. Oh. These games, though, might truly go beyond just having fun. If it's anything with the girls, I'm not playing it. <laughs> like Annabelle. Games will have you screaming and checking under your bed Again. before you go to sleep. They will keep you awake at night, wondering if the game really ended. Number 10, Bloody Mary. I In that. order to play oh, Bloody no. Mary, you need a mirror, yep. candles, and a lightless room. That's this right. game is typically played in bath. I did not know that. Pause. <laughs> what? I tried are you, it. Are you um, stupid or? No, first of all, I did this when I was in middle I school. I don't, and I don't give you an excuse. So, oh, no, I didn't in middle school. No, I mean, like, I was immature and stuff. So I was like, okay. They said this is this is going to happen or whatsoever. And I was just like, all right, fine, whatever. So I tried it and I'm still here alive. So obviously it didn't work. At night, Jasmine turns into a demon. I just didn't tell you guys. Her head start. No, I'm telling you, one time Jasmine did some scary stuff, guys. What? Her head, like, literally turned around and she was like, I'm going to eat your soul. <laughs> I was like, Jasmine? She, I, I was like, Jasmine, I want to eat your soul! I was like, ah! <laughs> What's that? Brooms, <laughs> because they are dark and have a mirror, though it can also be played in closets or any room with a mirror and candles. Yes. There should be no more than two players. The rules of Bloody Mary are simple. Stare at the mirror with the candles lit. Oh. Into your own eyes. That's probably why I didn't work. I didn't use candles. Bloody I just Mary said with the lights. Into the mirror for as long as it takes. Uh, you want to reach out? No. <laughs> with time, she may present herself beside you or behind you. You can leave the room at any time. But will Bloody Mary leave with you? Number nine. Sushi Yura. That's why that ghost was messing with you. Sushi Yura is a fortune telling <laughs> game that originates yeah, if you have it. In order to play this divination game, you need a comb, something to casually cover your face with, and an intersection between two roads. You play the game by taking your comb and face covering to the intersection, brushing your finger along the teeth of the comb three times, chanting, Suji Yura, Suji Yura, grant me a true response. Wait for a stranger to pass at the intersection and cover your face. Ask the first passing stranger to give you your fortune. It's too if many they do not steps. respond, continue to wait for the next stranger. Be careful who approaches you, though. It may indeed be a restless spirit. Number oh, eight. Hell, 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 huh? Kings. Three it's Kings is a game meant mean. to access a different dimension. In order to play, you need three chairs, two mirrors, candles, and a dark room with no visible light. Position the chairs in a triangle with the mirrors sitting on two of the chairs, such that from your chair, you can barely see your own reflections out of the corner of your eyes. At 3.33 okay. a.m., light the candle and sit in the empty chair. Do not look directly at the other two mirrors or the candle. If you have set the game up properly, you will be able to have a conversation with yourself in other dimensions. What? Number seven. Charlie Charlie. Charlie Charlie is another fortune telling oh, game. I this one. To play, draw a cross and then write yes in the top left and bottom right corners of the cross and then write no in the top right and bottom left corners mm -hmm. of the cross. Remember Place this two driving. pencils yeah. with the left and right pencil on the bottom that. and the up down pencil on top. Chant Charlie Charlie can we play twice out loud. The pencil will move to select either yes or no. Hell if the no. answer is no, you immediately <laughs> stop playing the game. If the answer is yes, then you may proceed to ask Charlie more questions. He's like, no, I don't feel like talking to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> the Ouija board 
is a classic and the only game yeah. on this list that you can buy at your local store. Ouija boards have a long, contentious history about their purpose Ouija. and origin, Ouija but Ouija many have had terrifying game. paranormal experiences directly connected to their use of the Ouija board. I'm never when using the Ouija board, yeah. there should be at least two people using it. The rules of the Ouija board are simple. Each player has both of their hands, or one of their hands if there are a lot of players, on the planchette included in a game set. Each player asks the Ouija board a question, and the planchette will move to spell out the answer. To this end, a person may need to write down what the board is spelling in the case of a long answer. I am Do not ask the board what the name of the I am not. you are speaking <laughs> with, or how you will die. Uh -uh. Answers to these questions may cause a decrease in quality of life, or worse. Yeah, Number of course, five, you're going to be turned around every in second. The dark. While there's not the necessarily any specific ritual that creates a paranormal experience in this game, kind of it's still a scary experience and can be made to be even more scary when played in the woods, oh, in an yeah. abandoned no. building, or abandoned after building. having summoned something ancient and evil into the house earlier. Hide and seek in the dark is best played in a large, relatively clean building or area so that players have so plenty clean. of room to move and hide but don't have to worry about being tripped by debris and hurting themselves. The last thing you want to hear is your friend's voice screaming for help from the darkness. Why would you play in the Why are you going to an abandoned place? The corner game? game must be played by four people in an empty building with no lights, pets, or people besides uh, the players present in the building. And the game itself should be played in a clean, empty room within that building. To play, the four players enter the room, each speaking their own name aloud three times. What? One of the players is designated the speaker, and they are the only ones allowed to speak from then on. Each of the players pick one of the corners of the room, That's staring scary. at the no, wall with that. their backs to the center of the room. The speaker will count to three, and after each countdown, the players must move clockwise to the next corner of the room, what? keep their backs to the center of the room while facing the wall. If one of the players disappears, the speaker will tell the other players to enact the emergency procedure. Each player must speak their name backwards three times. What? And the player closest to the light switch turns on the lights of the room. The disappearing player should return and beware of spirits returning as well. Number three. Wait, so how the do closet disappear? game. The know. closet game can be played by yourself, but it's best played with friends in case the worst possible thing happens. To play the closet game, you need a closet, though any small, dark room yeah. or container may work, and matches. If playing with multiple people, each person takes turns entering the closet. The person in the closet holds a single, unlit match and says, Show me the light, or leave me in darkness. The person must then immediately light the candle. If they're unable to light the candle, their friends can open the closet door with the light on to save them, or they may be dragged to hell. Oh, Number two, the elevator game. To play this game, you need elevator. to find a public building that is at least I 10 stuck floors in tall. I saw a devil. Elevator. I was like, no. The elevator game should be played with at least two people, but can be played mm -hmm. with more. Mm -hmm. Enter the elevator, the elevator on the first floor, thing. but do not play the game if another person outside of your group enters with you and immediately end the game if at any point another person enters with you until the right time. Mm -hmm. Press the fourth floor button. When the elevator reaches the fourth floor, choose the second floor. When you reach the second floor, press the button for the sixth floor. When you reach the sixth, kind of return you. to the second floor. Press the button for the tenth floor, and then press the button for the fifth floor. If a woman enters the elevator on the fifth floor, do not look at her. Press the button for the first floor. The elevator will either ascend or descend. If the elevator returns to the first floor, leave and do not look back. If the elevator goes to the tenth floor, you may exit the elevator, but do not look at or respond to the woman if she asks you where you are going. If you are alone, you are in the other world. To return to your world, what? enter the elevator and repeat the same sequence of floors. Four, two, six, two, ten, five. Do not leave the elevator until you are certain you are home or else. Number one, yeah. That's midnight just game. Scary. Yeah, number one. All the players around just before midnight, they must write their full names on slips of paper, prick their fingers with a needle, and dab the paper slips with a drop of blood. 
turn off the lights of the house and place the paper slips in front of a wooden door. Light a candle and place it on the paper, being careful that it won't fall. Knock on the door 22 times, being sure that the 22nd knock falls at exactly 12 a.m. Open the door, blow out the candle, and close the door. The players should move around the room holding their own candles. If a player's candle goes out, they must relight it in 10 seconds or surround themselves with a circle of salt. The game proceeds this way until it ends at 3.33 a.m. What? Not following these specific rules may lead to a spirit haunting the location and any players with unlit candles. Subscribe. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. This was one of the scarier Some ones. Some of these um, require a lot of steps. That yeah, I, I think... I, I'm not even going to try to attempt in the first place. No, the Bloody Mary game is straight simple. Do that. Yeah, I tell you the elevator one was the creepiest one. The elevator one. one, yeah, that was creepy. I don't like yeah, elevators, period. Yeah, like when I got stuck twice, I... <laughs> yeah, no. I got no. stuck twice in college, like it sucked. That elevator <laughs> one was not far was... I'm not playing in no an elevator, I'm not going. First of all, you gotta find a very tall building to have 10 floors. <laughs> right. Okay. Once you do, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be other people that's in that building, unless you're there like at 4 a.m. in the morning uh -huh. and nobody's there. Uh -huh. Like that's what I'm saying. And then a lady comes in and says, "Where are you going?" Yeah, like, he said you can't look at her. Like no matter what, you can't look at her. Like what if she's like going crazy and everything like that, making all these don't, demon don't sounds look. and everything don't like that, and you look. can't look at her. Don't look. And I guess if you do, you die or something like that. That'd be a nice. Comment you. below if you guys want us to do like a horror skit called like "Don't Look." Don't look. Do don't look. Don't <laughs> look. I'll be. I think because we got a couple of horror skit ideas anyway, but right. we come up with one. We want to do something special on Halloween. Yeah. So yeah. So just comment below. Tell us if you want us to do that. Anyway, guys, please comment below. Tell us what you think about this video because I know this was hella crazy. Barbie tried any of these. Please. Don't. And live this Please don't. Please. <laughs> no, really. I want to know. No. I, I, Bloody Murray, go ahead. Do your thing. <laughs> just gonna let me die. Shoot, girl, I'm like, yes, I tried. I tried. She wanted to mess with demons and spirits. But anyway, comment below what you think. Don't forget to like. Subscribe. Share. It's just one of our guys.